Yeah, I want to get into something a little bit different. I went over this before, but it's probably going to be a lot more clear the way I'm going to be explaining it this time. This is about the Soda Instruments BioTuner, BT7 BioTuner. It's sold as a relaxation device. It's sold as anti-anxiety, maybe a feel-good device. Maybe it could possibly help you with sleep, but they don't make any claims about it because if you make claims and all of a sudden you have to have all the medical science behind it and everything like that. But I'll go relate a couple stories. Actually, I got this from looking at Dr. Beck's lectures. Um, what it is, is um, in the 1970s or thereabout, the Russian military was having a little bit of problem with some of the generals on the top who were drinking too much vodka. And to improve military readiness, they wanted to try to get them off vodka, but it was like problematic because of withdrawal symptoms and that stuff. So they tried looking into different avenues, different approaches to help them get away from alcoholism or get away from vodka to help improve military readiness. So they looked into um, yoga and also like what the Tibetan priest did, the Tibetan monks did, uh, shaman priest did. And it turns out when they pray, and all these priests pray, they can get into this almost like mode where they feel no pain. There's no anxiety, no depression. They feel no cares of the world. They get away from it. And they thought this could be extremely useful. And uh, trying to get somebody away from alcoholism at vodka or whatever. So with this device, what they did was they found the frequency that these people are producing. In other words, these people have trained for years that their mind actually put out a certain frequency. This has been done for thousands of years, but it's just recently that the frequency has been found and actually been able to be produced artificially. So the first device actually only had one setting on it. It actually just had one setting. Now, uh, the story goes that Pete Townsend, Pete Townsend of the UK, who's a heroin addict, and he actually got, he was able to kick the heroin habit, habit using this frequency. And um, he was on heroin, he had to get a whole pile of heroin in him, and he made the flight from the UK to the United States, and they had this device over here, I think in the early 80s or late 70s, and they put this on his head, and Actually, scientifically, it has like a 90% um, recovery rate for cocaine addicts and heroin addicts and less than 40% uh, recovery rate for uh, tobacco smokers. Tobacco smoke is actually much more addictive. Now, with this, when you turn it on, you notice all six lights come on, and it has six settings. Actually, one, two, and three are the same as four, five, and six. One, two, and three are actually... Um, full power, and four, five, and six are half power. Now you can actually adjust the power with the wheel, right? You could do it that way. And then there's these two clips that go on the ears. So what you do, actually you'd wet these first, you put it on each ear, and you put it, it has a self timer in it, and it works for 20 minutes. And when you turn it up, this orange light is on. And as you can see this orange light on, actually this doesn't have to be on, I don't actually feel anything, but if I turn it up, you could feel tingling, you know, if you turn it up higher. But um, this orange light doesn't have to be on, it actually just shows that the unit's working. That's all that really indicates. You just actually have to have it hooked up, but the orange light shows that the unit is working. So if I take one off, the orange light goes off. So that's actually putting a frequency through my mind. Now setting one is the actual original setting. That was the one that was developed by the Russian scientists that were trying to help the Russian generals get away from vodka. Setting two is the same setting. It's on a few seconds, off a few seconds. You're not going to find this in any kind of book. I actually had a research on the internet in various places and blogs. It's not really, there's no instruction manual that comes with this because they're afraid of liability or claims that you make for the FDA. Um, the other thing is setting three. This is the most interesting setting. This is the Schumann Earth Resonance, Schumann Earth Frequency. Now this setting actually has not per soda instruments, but independent other independent scientists, people that are, and I looked at all these lectures for hours. I mean, you're talking to top scientists with PhDs and everything. The uh, Schumann Earth Resonance actually is a healer for the body. Like when you go to the beach, you're connected to the earth. When you're actually barefoot on the beach or barefoot on the ground, you're connected to the earth. That actually balances out the frequency in your body somehow and it will actually help heal your body throughout in a natural way. 
Now this is per scientist. I can, I can, you know, I'm not going to look up the references again, but it's not even per medical doctors. It's actually per scientist. Thing is, that's a cheap method. It's a method that you know, if somebody you go to a doctor, say go to the beach and go stand on the beach and go lay at the beach, you'll get healing powers from the frequency of the earth. They're not going to do that because they're not going to make any money from you af afterwards. It's going to be a one-time trip. Now, with this unit, you can also do is you can take these ear clips, and you notice there's a pin on here. You can take that pin off, and you can put it on these medical pads, these self-sticking medical pads. And what you can do is say, for instance, you had a problem with your elbow, and you wanted, had an elbow problem here. You could do one here and one on the other side and leave it on there on a human earth frequency. And what would happen is you would actually get some healing power from that. Some people have shown some great relief from that. And this is on setting three. That's a human earth resonance. Setting six is also the human earth resonance on half power. And you can adjust the intensity of the wheel this way. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this also, you know, according to Dr. Beck, in some of his older lectures, he says psychiatrists and psychologists absolutely hate this thing. And the reason they hate it is because... You know, okay, the device might be a few hundred bucks right now, but once you buy it, you really buy nothing else. And it turns out, in many cases, people have depression, anxiety, and everything. And they just use this device 20 minutes a day. That's all you need to do. The max is two 20-minute sessions a day, maximum. No more than that, because then it's actually no good. And the only thing that it requires is one battery in the back. This comes off, and there's one battery. And you can use a rechargeable battery and never buy a damn battery again. And that would be the end of that. And that's one time deal, which could be used for a whole bunch of people. So, you know, for their $150 to $250 and $300 hour fees, you know, after, say, 30 days of using this, a patient's using this, they long, no longer feel the depression and the anxiety, they're out of the business. So they hate this thing. The drug rehab clinics hate this thing for the same reason. They'd be out of business. Something else I want to point to niacin. This has been known in. 80% or more schizophrenic cases, in other words, if you take massive doses of niacin, this is the flush-free type, I'm showing the type right here. Um, this, this particular flush-free type will actually help lower cholesterol also, which they may or not be important as the doctors say, but say that's a concern. Could help lower cholesterol. Now, um, the other thing is with this, it's very powerful as far as antidepressant, anxiety, and schizophrenia. Uh, the minimum, the actual recommended daily requirement of niacin is 20 milligrams a day. This is a thousand milligrams. You would take three or four of these over the day. In other words, you'd be taking 150 to 250 times the recommended daily requirement of niacin, which actually isn't a problem because there's no way you really overdose on niacin, which is B3, vitamin B3. It actually just flushes out of the body. But you wouldn't take the flush type and those type of doses because it's you'd be bright red. I mean, you take the flush free type, and I'd recommend this type. But it has actually um, alleviated problems with schizophrenic patients in over 80% of the cases just taking those mega doses of B3. It also worked in the cases of anxiety and depression. Now, this vitamin is cheap, very cheap. I mean, you can get like bottles and bottles and bottles of this, you know, for a few bucks. I mean, you're only like three, four dollars each for, you know, all these 60 tablets. So you can get a year's supply for, I don't know, 20 bucks at the most. Now, another thing to take is coconut oil. I get this type parachute oil. This is actually coconut oil. Uh, another thing that protects the brain uh, against Alzheimer's, for one, for real, and also by raising the ketones in the brain. Actually this, actually, this science actually goes back to with the psychiatric profession in the 1800s and up to the 1920s. They used to use a high ketonic diet. High ketonic diet was that it was high fats, almost like a modified Atkins diet. And um, what it is, is very high fats, uh, no carbs, and actually not too much even on the proteins. So what happened is, um, what would happen is you would raise the ketones in the brain. Actually, well, I just want to go over the rest of this, Dan. Uh, yeah, raises the ketones in the brain, which is the modified, it's like a modified Atkins diet. It's called the high ketonic diet, just to review real quick. Uh, I just ran out of space on a disc, whatever the hell it was. Uh, but, you know, on the camera. So, in other words, um, 
what you do is this would actually be the best thing to take the coconut oil because even they have a modified high ketonic diet which is mainly coconut oil. See, coconut oil actually goes straight to energy a lot faster. It doesn't raise your cholesterol, even lowers your cholesterol somewhat, and it doesn't spike your insulin. So there's a number of benefits to coconut oil besides raising the ketones in the brain. Now, it protects the mind. I used to use it, like I said, in the old days in the psychiatric profession. This is something legitimate. It would protect the mind against um, epileptic seizures, you know, schizophrenia, problems with, psyche, with the psyche, and uh, it's very cheap too, that's the other thing. It also, even if you have no problems, it helps eliminate brain fog and you know, basically clears up your memory, it helps you improve your short-term memory a little bit, that type of stuff. And um, it's been shown even cases where it reversed Alzheimer's in some cases. So it's pretty powerful stuff being very cheap. Now there's a number of things I can go over with coconut oil, I'm not, but just stating that the BT7 BioTuner, the Niacin B3 Vitamin, and coconut oil are three extremely effective things for the mind, besides the body. And with that, we can practically put the psychiatric profession out of business, for real. Biggest bunch of quacks going. Don't like them, really. Not at all.